breakfast for this morning I decided to make myself kind of a breakfast sandwich of sorts so what I have is two slices of the Trader Joe's sprouted wheat sourdough bread this bread is so good it is so thick and hearty and it is two smart points per slice but there are seven grams of protein per slice so it keeps you full it's an actual dense delicious bread so I have two slices of that I have two egg whites and I went ahead and topped my egg white whites with the Trader Joe's organic shredded mozzarella. You can have one ounce for two points, so I have half of an ounce here for one smart point. And I also topped it with one smart point worth of avocado and some everything but the bagel seasoning. And then I'm having a red pear that I just went ahead and sliced up. So my sandwich is four for the bread, one for the avocado and one for the cheese. The egg whites are zero, so this is a six smart point breakfast. So I wanted to show you guys this little box that I received. This is a subscription service called Earth Box, and it is basically a snack box. So this is the size of it. It is fairly small. It's about the size of the Sips by Tea Boxes, but it is a all organic, whole ingredient snack box. And I will put all of the details of the promotion down in the description box. I am in the process of trying to get a discount code for you guys. If you're interested in the earth box and exactly how a subscription would work, but they sent this to me so that I could check out all of their products and give you guys a review. So first I'm going to show you all of the products that came in the earth box on the screen. I'm going to give you my review of the products because by the time you see See this video I would have tried all of the products that I'm going to try now if they are high in smart points I will not be trying them and chances are you wouldn't be necessarily eating them anyways but I am going to give you the smart points for everything and my personal review so when you open up your box it's really cute it's very well put together so here is everything that came in my earth box so let's dig in so the first thing is I received a pack of these popped chickpeas and this is the hot wasabi Ooh, these look good and these are only a high this is 100 calories for this little pack of them so these end up being three smart points for this pack so i'm definitely going to eat these my review will be here on the screen for you guys three points not bad this is from what you see foods and then also we have a pack of Frankie's Organic Clouds, and this is in the White Cheddar Blanc. Mm, these look good. So it says organic puffs made from sprouted quinoa and sprouted brown rice. All organic. And, oh, this is only 70 calories for this package. And these are two smart points. So, yep, I'll definitely be eating that. Wow, I'm excited to try these. I love white cheddar anything. And then we've got a couple of little cards. So this is those chickpeas. It's going to give you a 35% off order if you actually like those and want to order. And then also it looks like some hemp products as well um, that they're giving you some information on. Ooh, there's lots of good stuff. Okay, so it looks like we have two packages of these. These are the Enjoy Life protein bites and these are in dark raspberry Ooh, that sounds good that sounds really good so these are little bites of protein they're allergy friendly they're plant-based protein and again this is chocolate dark raspberry unfortunately these are nine smart points a pack nine and there are four little balls in there so i will not be eating these so i will not be able to give you a review i'm actually going to just take these to my real estate office Someone there will definitely eat those. And then it looks like we have a pack of Best Seeds Ever Chinook Cedary. And these are Smokehouse Barbecue Small Batch 
sunflower seeds. Ooh, yum. Barbecue sunflower seeds. Okay, that sounds really, really good. So here's your nutritional information on those. Less salt, signature roast, non-GMO. Ooh, these sound really good. So this entire package, which is one and a half ounces, so it's quite a large package, is only four smart points. So excited to have these. I love barbecue anything, and I love sunflower seeds, so yum. Ooh, 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 look what else. Oh, I love hemp hearts. I love hemp hearts. Okay, so that explains why we got the little flyer about hemp products. Okay, so there are hemp hearts in this box. These are shelled hemp seeds. These, you guys, are so good on salad. They are packed full of protein. So, yeah, look at all that. Two times the protein in omegas than any other type of topper for salad. So this is actually half of a serving. So I figured my points based on half of the information on the nutritional label. So this package of hemp hearts is three points. So I'm definitely gonna have these. I'll let you guys know how this brand is. This is the Manitoba Harvest Hemp Foods. Yeah, 10 grams of omega or omegas, three and six. That's pretty awesome. Definitely we'll be having those. Looks like we have a bar here. So this is the Bob's Red Mill, which I love Bob's Red Mill products. This is the peanut butter, jelly, and oats. Oh, oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. Oh my gosh, that sounds so delicious. Non-GMO, gluten-free, whole grain bar. These are seven smart points. So I don't know that I'll eat this. Uh, if I did, there'll be a review. Otherwise, this will go with these to the office. And lastly, it looks like we have, oh, interesting, peanut-free wow butter. Oh, I can get it out, there we go. Peanut-free wow butter. So seven grams of plant protein per serving, a thousand milligrams of omega-3. Great for school because it is peanut and tree nut free, no hydrogenated oils, all natural, gluten-free, non-GMO, and no stir mess. So what it looks like is there are, let me open it up. Okay, so this is what was in there. There are those individual little servings of the wow butter. It says it tastes just like peanut butter. These are one tablespoon serving, so it's two tablespoons total here. Let's take a look at it. It says you deserve better. You can order online at wow butter. Oh, interesting. Dip it, spread it, bake with it. So these are pre-portioned cups, which is awesome. So if you ate both of these cups of the wow butter, it's seven smart points. So it's pretty similar to peanut butter. Now, if you only eat one of them, it's three. So I definitely am going to try this. So that review will be on the screen. So that's everything, you guys, that was in my earth box pretty cool again all of the information and if i'm able to round up a discount code for you guys will be down in the description box for my morning snack today i'm going to be having my usual a built bar today i'm going to be doing the black cherry chocolate cream this one is delicious it tastes like chocolate covered cherries like those ones you get in the red box at the holidays it is so good built bars are a must-have on a weight loss journey they are only three smart points and they taste like a candy bar and they have fabulous macros 110 calories 15 grams of protein six fiber four sugar and four fat all for three smart points so it keeps you full with the protein the fiber the fat keeps you nice and full i usually have this as my morning snack between breakfast and lunch there is a four smart point bar and that is the peanut butter because it has real organic peanut butter and little chunks of peanut so it's worth the extra point so highly recommend the built bar my code here on the screen will give you 10 percent off and free shipping again i think it's a staple in a weight loss journey because it not only satisfies your sweet craving but it gives you a good dose of fat and protein and fiber to keep you full so definitely head over to built bar check them out if you want to know my favorite flavors just leave that in the comments below and i'd be happy to share so this is my three smart point morning snack Here's my little TJ Maxx haul. I haven't done a haul in a minute, so you guys are probably missing them. 
or maybe not, but I did stop at TJ Maxx because I have a New Year's resolution, my friends, one of many, and that is to organize my kitchen better. So I went for some organization tools as well as, of course, to restock the dog's treat. So let me show you what I picked up at TJ Maxx. So I found these stacking trays. So you can put them individually or you can stack them on top of each other kind of like that and they'll actually sit up and i bought these for my pantry because i thought how great would these be to organize some of the things just thrown throughout my pantry and these were a great deal only 6.99 a piece so nice metal gray colored basket so i grabbed two of those also, I found another one of these junk drawer organizers from Made Smart. I'm obsessed with the one that I have all my kitchen utensils in. Actually, let me show you. So in my drawer, you can see I put that other one that I bought in here and was able to organize everything. It's seriously a dream. So I did pick up another one of those, and this is going to actually go into that second drawer there, which is legit my junk drawer, and I'm gonna get it nice and organized. And then I also picked up this smaller one. This is actually a utensil tray, but I'm going to be using this as a tray to organize my coffee drawer. And in my coffee drawer are my lids and straws and you know those types of things, my sugar packets. So I'm gonna use this to make that a little bit nicer. And that's that first drawer there. So organizing is coming down the pipe. I'm excited for that. Also, my mother, bless her heart, uh, decided that she'd like some new measuring cups and spoons for Christmas. So I picked up these cute KitchenAid ones. These are really nice. They're plastic, but they're really, really good quality. And they were only $6.99. And I saw some when I was at Kohl's the day after Thanksgiving for like $13. So $6.99 is a great deal. And then I saw this plate. It's gorgeous. It is hand painted and it has this beautiful kind of holly around the edges, it has gold and red. It's so pretty. So I picked this up just for my videos. You know, I like to have fun plates when I'm filming my food. And then this plate was $6.99, which was a little bit expensive, but considering it's hand painted, I really liked it. So I went ahead and grabbed it. And then I've been looking for an oil holder and this one was so inexpensive, three, yeah, $3.99. So I was looking for one of these to put my avocado oil in. And then I think I might just leave it out on my counter. And this one is matches my kitchen perfectly because it's white and it has that chrome, that silver. So couldn't pass it up for $3.99. And then also I got some dry shampoo. I've actually never tried this brand, but I've heard it's the best. This is the Batiste. And I usually use a brand from Fred Meyer, like Got To Be or something like that. But I heard that this Batiste is amazing and I got the tropical scent because I guess I'm wishing for summer. But this was a pretty good deal, $8.99. So if you are some, yeah, $8.99. So if you guys buy this product, let me know if that's a good deal or if I should look elsewhere or where I should look if I actually like this dry shampoo. And then lastly, I picked up dog treats so they my dogs really likes these little piggies and remember my dogs are grain free and chicken free so treats are a little tough to find so these are only $2.99 they're blueberry flavored they actually look like little pig faces my dogs really really liked those last time well, I bought these before too but the smaller bag and they loved these these are also grain free no chicken just turkey all natural there's antioxidants in there $7.99 is a good deal because I want to say I paid $5 for a small bag. And then anything Merrick is a win. Merrick is one of the best dog food brands out there. So these were $9.99 and these are the double brush infused with mint flavored breath strips. That's kind of what they look like. They're just chews for clean teeth and again, grain free chicken free. They're even potato free. And then my dogs have had these before too and really liked them. These are the sweet tater bones. So these are pretty good size. I just break them in half, give them um, each half $7.99. And these are great. Only ingredient is sweet potatoes. So that is my little haul from TJ Maxx. Whatever happened to the rest of the year?
snack this afternoon, I'm gonna go ahead and make myself a protein shake. So I'm just gonna use my magic bullet here and I'm gonna do one cup of the coconut almond milk from Cliffia Farms. I'm also going to do one scoop of the Devotion Brownie Batter Protein Powder. I love Devotion, you guys know I use it to bake. I love it in protein shakes. This is my very favorite protein powder. The brownie batter has 20 grams of protein. It is sugar-free. It has two grams of MCT oil. It's gluten-free, six enzyme formula, and the best part is it is bloat-free. A lot of whey proteins will often make a lot of people bloat, so this one does not. And again, this is the brownie batter, 20 grams of protein, two smart points per scoop. I do have a discount code for Devotion. I'll put it here on the screen for you. So click the link down in the description box and enter the code. You do have to go through the link in the description box to receive the discount but highly recommend devotion i love the angel food cake as well but today we are going to do a chocolate shake because i'm also going to add one frozen banana so this will be my second fruit and my last fruit for today so i'm going to make a basically a chocolate banana protein shake for my afternoon snack So here is my protein shake. So it is two smart points for the protein powder, one for the almond milk, and then I do count zero for the banana because I do limit myself to two fruits per day. So this is going to be a three smart point protein shake. Look what came in the mail today. I was just telling my husband yesterday that I'm about out of tea with caffeine. I've been drinking a lot of tea during the day because it's cold. And then I save the caffeine free or low caffeine for the night. And I am about out of high caffeine tea. And in my mailbox today was my sips by order. So this is what I got for the month of December. Now sips by is a tea subscription service. You go online, you take a quiz, answer some questions about your preference of tea so whether you want caffeine no caffeine if you like fruity black tea matcha tea you go and you tell them what you prefer in your tea and every month they send you four to five different kinds of teas and four to five bags of those teas unless it's a loose leaf then you'll just get a larger size bag of the loose leaf tea but i love it it gives me the opportunity to try teas i never have seen before or, or aren't even sold in my area and it just lets me try different teas that I would never purchase for myself. And if you love the tea, you can get an additional discount from the company by having the Sips by subscription. So I love it. So let's jump into my box for December. So there's this little card here. So $15 gift card. And then Sip Together. Oh, it's just a thank you. Um for being part of the sip spy subscription service you're welcome sip spy okay so each month you're going to get this thing that has the month and the teas and then on the back it is going to say that it's made for you so this month the teas that i received were mother of earl Ooh, that actually sounds good and that's great because that's a high caffeine tea and it says it's a smooth and comforting earl gray blend with vanilla bean and lavender oh that sounds really good and then do you guys see that 20 percent off with the code sip spy 20. so each company will give you a discount of their choosing for their tea by having the sips by box so if you wanted to repurchase this mother of earl tea from nautilus then you'd get 20 percent off so i think that's kind of cool and then i have cinnamon vanilla by stash this is a caffeine free tea spicy warm cinnamon blends with sweet vanilla soothing chamomile rubios and sarsaparilla Ooh, for a tea that's both soothing soothing and satisfying and then look at that 10 percent off code so this will be a great one for night and then i have ho ho hoji chai Oh, how fun. A low caffeine tea. So this is green tea from Japan, cocoa nibs, cardamom, ginger root, cassia, black peppercorns, and natural chocolate flavor, cloves, and cardamom. Okay, that sounds really good. And that's a low caffeine. And then matcha mint latte. That also sounds delicious. That's a medium. So it's organically grown matcha from Japan, ground peppermint leaves. A lot of the teas that you receive too are organic. So that's really nice too. So these are my teas. Let's pull these out and look, take a look at them. 
So here are my teas for the month of December. So like I said, you do receive four or five bags. So I have four bags of the Stash Cinnamon Vanilla. I'm really excited about this one. It sounds really, really delicious. And again, it's caffeine free, great for at night. And then this is the Ho Ho Hoji Chai from number 31, Stephen Smith tea maker this is a low caffeine tea so again good for in the evening they will send you these these are just little tea bags they're organic little disposable tea bags and they'll send you these anytime that they send you loose leaf tea and it looks like the mother of earl from the nautilus tea company is loose leaf so what you would do is you'd put the loose leaf tea in the little tea bag and seep it from there so it's very nice that they think of everything and they do send you the little bags and then here are the little matcha from tea pigs matcha latte and then they sent this little card and gives you some ideas hot matcha latte ice matcha latte why choose their matcha and then you can see here that if you use that code you get ten dollars off your oh and off your fifty dollar order at tea pigs so they'll sometimes just give you like cute little informational things as well so that was my December box. I can't wait to dig in. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be digging into this one here shortly. So if you're interested in SipSpy, you can use the code GEN5 for $5 off your first box. It is not an affiliate link. They send me the box. I talk to you guys about it. I don't receive any type of kickback or anything. It is just a $5 off your first box discount for you. Highly recommend. This is also, you guys, a fabulous gift. For tonight's dinner, I'm gonna be making Italian turkey meatballs, and we're gonna pair that with some mashed potatoes. So a little bit of a winter warm comfort food. So let me show you what is in tonight's dinner. First, you're going to need some minced garlic, salt, rosemary, oregano, ground mustard, red chili pepper flakes. Instead of breadcrumbs, I generally like to use stuffing. So this is the Pepperidge Farm herb seasoned classic stuffing. It's a great dupe for breadcrumbs, especially in meatballs, meatloaf. I think it makes it even better. So I'm going to be using that. Parmesan cheese, light butter. I have one pound of 93.7 lean ground turkey, tomato sauce, and fresh parsley. And we're going to pair it with these Idahoan roasted garlic and parm baby reds. We love these potatoes. They taste very, very similar to real mashed potatoes and they have fabulous smart points. So we're going to have a side of that and then probably a vegetable as well. So let's get started on tonight's dinner. So let's put together these meatballs. So I have my one pound of ground turkey in my bowl. To that, I'm going to add three cloves of minced garlic. And you can also use fresh garlic, whatever you have on hand. Also one quarter cup of tomato sauce. And I have also one quarter cup of fresh Parmesan cheese. Two thirds cup of breadcrumbs, and in my case, the stuffing mix. We're gonna add a little bit of salt just to kind of bring out all of those different flavors. And then I went ahead and chopped up about one third cup of fresh parsley and lots of seasoning. So we have some ground mustard. And again, you do this to your liking as if you like your food really flavorful, go ahead and add a little extra seasoning. I like a lot of flavor, so I kind of load up on the seasoning. And then I have some rosemary and it just grinds fresh. I get a lot of questions as to where I got this rosemary grinder. And this came directly from Walmart. It is the Sam's Choice brand and it is awesome. Red chili pepper flakes, I go pretty light only because we do not like our food spicy. And lastly, we just have some oregano. So we're gonna add that. And then we are going to give our meatball mixture a stir, make sure everything is nice and combined. And we actually are gonna cook our meatballs in the oven, 400 degrees. I'm gonna go ahead and grab out a pan and we're gonna drizzle these with a little bit of melted butter. And we're gonna go ahead and get these into the oven. All right, let's get these meatballs put together. So I have my turkey mixture and we're gonna dig in with our hands. I'm gonna give this just another quick mix. It's always a little easier to mix it with your hands than with a spoon, just get everything nice and combined. And then we're just gonna roll these into meatballs and I want them about an inch or so size of a meatball, but you can go ahead and do yours however you like. You'll just figure your points based on the number of meatballs that you end up with versus 
the number of points in the recipe. So you really can make them whatever size you want. So mine are again about maybe more like an inch and a half. And we're just gonna roll those out and put them here on our baking sheet. And my oven is preheating to 400 and then we'll get these meatballs into the oven. So we have our meatballs here. These look delicious. I went ahead and melted just two teaspoons of I can't believe it's not butter light. And I'm just going to put just a little bit on each of my meatballs. And that's just going to add that little bit of yummy buttery flavor to them. And it also kind of browns them up, makes them nice and crispy. And then again, these are going in the oven at 400 degrees just until they are cooked through. And as they get a little bit closer to being done, we'll put together our mashed potatoes. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on our potatoes. So I have two cups of water. We're gonna bring that to a boil and then it's very simple. We're just going to stir in the potatoes. They're so good, you guys. So that's going to be a part of our dinner. And then for veggies, we're gonna do this Flavor Pack Riviera Blend. I usually just put half the bag in a bowl here with some water and just toss it into the microwave. So we're gonna have veggies and our potatoes. So I just pulled the meatballs out of the oven. These look so good. My veggies are in the microwave. My potatoes are done. So I'm gonna go ahead and plate up my dinner and I'll be back to give you the smart points. So here is my completed dinner. So I have one serving of my veggies with a little spray butter, salt and pepper for zero. I decided to have six meatballs. It makes six servings four meatballs per serving. I decided to go ahead and have two additional meatballs. So if you did four meatballs, it would be four smart points. Essentially, they're about a one smart point per meatball. So this is going to be six smart points for six meatballs. And then I have one serving of the Idahoan roasted garlic potatoes. Four points, that's it for this half of a cup or so of potatoes. It's such a great bang for your buck. So this entire dinner is only 10 smart points. So here's my dessert for tonight. This looks so festive. So what I have here is I have seven ounces of the no sugar added cherry pie filling um, from Great Value. You can have seven ounces for three smart points. So I have three smart points worth of the cherry pie filling. And then I just topped it with just a little bit of fat free ready whip. That amount is zero. And then I have one serving, which is 15 grams of the Bake Believe semi-sweet no sugar added chocolate chips. So this entire dessert is only five smart points. 